Now to a breaking news update. A 25-year-old cold case may be solved as investigators charge a man with the murder of Angie Hausman. The nine-year-old was abducted, tortured, and later found dead in the Bush Wildlife Area in 1993. Prosecutors say they never stopped working the case, and their persistence finally paid off. The I-Team's PJ Randawa is live with more about who investigators say is the killer. PJ? Well, it's important to note evidence in this case was tested and retested over the years, but it was at the end of February when that testing finally paid off. Investigators were able to get a sample of DNA off a little piece of Angie's underwear. Now that DNA led them to a suspect that's 61 year old Earl Webster Cox. Now Kirk Cox has a long history of sexually abusing children. He's currently incarcerated in a North Carolina federal prison for peddling thousands of images of child child pornography. He's from the St. Louis area and he was living near Angie at the time of her murder. But prosecutors also believe there may be other people involved in the murder. One person who hasn't been ruled out as of today is Ron Bone, Angie's stepfather. He spoke with us earlier today. They actually over to that hammer slaps down and said he's guilty. You know, it's still gets slapped down and say he's not guilty. Kill him. You ain't got to worry about him anymore. He deserves the death penalty, and he deserves it tomorrow. He doesn't deserve to live what he did to that little girl. She was sweet and innocent. Horrible. Now, Cox also has ties to the Ferguson and Overland areas, and we're hearing he may be charged for sex crimes in those areas as well, dating back to the late 80s and early 90s. He is currently in North Carolina, as I mentioned, in a federal prison, and he'll be coming back to Missouri in the next couple of weeks to answer for these charges. Reporting in St. In St. Charles County, PJ Randawa, five on your side. The disappearance of Angie Hausman shook the bi-state to its core. Just 10 days earlier, another young girl had gone missing in Maryland Heights. So when Angie disappeared somewhere between her home and her school bus stop a half block away, St. Anne police brought out helicopters and dogs to search and quickly called it an abduction. It was November 18, 1993. Nine-year-old Angie Hausman got off the school bus at the corner of St. Charles Rock Road and Wright. She headed home just eight houses away. When word of the little girl's disappearance spread, members of the Major K Squad were activated, fielding hundreds of tips generated by this sketch. It shows a man seen in the neighborhood both before and after Angie's murder. But none of those leads panned out. Nine days into the investigation and two days after Thanksgiving, hunters in St. Charles County found Angie's body in a remote ravine in the Bush Wildlife Area. They found her tied to a tree. She still had the duct tape across her eyes and her mouth. Investigators inside the St. Charles County Crime Lab processed 150 pieces of evidence, painstaking work. They even had the gaffer's tape that bound Angie's body. Parts of the puzzle became more clear. She was tortured. And on Thanksgiving Day, when most everyone else was home with family, the killer brought Angie here. She was taken in there alive and tied to a tree, mostly naked. Pink, red, and white flowers decorated Angie's casket at her funeral. Mourners held balloons at her burial and talked about the many lives she touched in her short life. And even though there would be no prom, wedding day, or children for Angie herself, one friend said she was filled with hope. That there is a God up above and justice will be done. At the end of the service, the clouds parted and the sun came out, bringing more tears. One family member said it was a sign Angie was at peace. But there would be no peace for family, friends, and investigators who only want justice for Angie. If we can't get him here, then he'll get his in the hereafter. Not only was the community deeply shaken, dozens of seasoned investigators and detectives with the major case squad who worked that case said the crime took its toll on them and left them with a sick feeling. Head to KSDK.com and the Five on Your Side app right now for an in-depth look back at all of the stories we've done on the Angie Hausman case.